it's amazing how little footage Orson Welles actually has in this movie. Still, he dominates it throughout. Noel Coward was the first choice to play Harry Lyme. That's when the character was written as a Brit early on. Meanwhile, the film's co-producer, David O. Selznick, was pushing for one of the stars he had under contract to play Harry, that fellow being Robert Mitchum. Interesting idea. But Mitchum had just been arrested for possession of marijuana and had to do some jail time. Meanwhile, Orson Welles was desperate to earn some money to finance the completion of a film version of Shakespeare's Othello that he was directing. So Welles became Harry Lyme, and it became one of the most memorable roles of his career. It also struck such a chord with the public, Orson went on to do a radio series on the earlier adventures of Harry Lyme, Harry in the days before he met his fatal end in the sewers of Vienna. Up next, a repeat of the private screenings interview that I recently did with Alec Baldwin, quizzing me about my life before TCM. In case you didn't catch it earlier or maybe would like to see it again, we have it coming right up. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, check out a special encore of private screenings, Robert Osborne. Then Spencer Tracy's paper is in hot water with The Libeled Lady. And Jennifer Jones is duped by a modern-day Cyrano in Love Letters. Take aim, Clint.